The National Sports Council's decision to drop more than 100 athletes from the national program does not paint a good picture for Malaysian sports. One of the dropped athletes, squash player Lo Wee Wern, said there should be better planning in such an impactful decision if it were to be made again in the future. A lot of people don't realize how massive this impact will be, not just for this year, but for many years to come. I think in that sense, um, it's, it's not a good, uh, good picture for sports in general, because I think a lot of parents would be a lot more skeptical, wanting to have their kid going to do sports full time if they are seeing this happen at this point in time, you know. So I don't think it's a great example. But I mean, like I said, end of the day, we understand budget cuts and the, the country is facing, uh, obviously, the pandemic with the COVID-19 and also now with the recent floods and everything. So we do understand budget cuts. However, I do feel that the procedure of how things has been done should have been better. And also, I think um, the decision was made, to me, could be a bit hastily and a bit last minute. Aside from that, the NSC also announced cutting allowances of athletes from 2,000 ringgit to as low as 800 ringgit. We weren't stressed that this would deeply impact individual athletes' performances. We are full-time athletes, so if we have to go and look for a different job just to supplement our income, then our training will no longer be 100% because in training as well, an important part is recovery. So having that downtime to actually sit down and recover rather than going out and doing something else for the next couple of hours just to earn a little bit more money, that will impact the athlete's performance in the long run. She called for better communication and planning by relevant authorities and hopes for proper private funding structure to sustain a career in the industry. NSA should have at least sat down with the athletes and telling them, okay, look, this is what's going to happen. And... We are all affected one way or another. So I think timing is one thing as well. You need to be able to give the athletes time to decide what they want to do. Because some athletes will have to decide whether they want to move into retirement, they want to go back to education, or they want to look for a job. You know, I mean, if you spring this on them two weeks before the end of the year, it's going to be tough. So, so I think um, one of the things that we can possibly look at is the funding from private sponsors. So I'm hoping that um, some private companies will come into the picture, hoping to pick up a few athletes and give them um, a career, you know, a chance because the athletes have worked so hard day in and day out and just to be dropped, you know, without notice and without a safety net.